What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing us a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the bottom right hand corner of Dreamcatcher LE, playing with the blue Protoss pieces. The series is currently tied up and he wants to keep this series rolling in his favor. His name is is Mana and his opponent spawning in the cross position playing with the red Zerg pieces we have the current best player on the planet he tied up the series in game number two and he wants to take a lead in this grand final series his name is Cyril so guys and girls this series and this game so far has been uh, absolutely incredible. I should say the series has been incredible, and I'm hoping that this game, game number three, is just as good as what we've been seeing so far out of this series that was played at the WCS in Austin, and of course was the grand finals of that series, so a best of seven series between the best player on the planet versus a very good Protoss player, of course, in Mana. So, We'll have to see what ends up happening in this game. And we saw in game number two, Cyril doing Cyril-like things. I mean, this guy essentially will overwhelm his opponent over time and really try to bleed the, the, his opponent dry as the game goes on. And Mana tried to stay in it. There are a couple of moments that it felt like maybe Cyril was possibly overextending. But it, in the end, he had just done way too much damage to mana, and a couple of Zergling runbys just sealed the deal by killing probe after probe uh, in, that, uh, in, in that game number two. So let's look at what both our opponents are deciding to do here in the early stages of game number three. We are going to see Cyril going for that hatch gas pool opener, very standard. On the opposite side, we're going to be seeing the gateway into the natural nexus and of course the cybernetics core now it does look like once again man is trying to hide this stargate and I, I i you know i hate to break it to you mana but i don't know if um you're really going to be able to keep much from Cyril. i mean now there's obviously obviously the possibilities that you'll be able to hide things from Cyril, but Cyril is so keen on getting information consistently as uh, as we've seen throughout the history of of Sarah playing this game, he is very good at finding out exactly what's going on at some point or another. That said, though, Stargate's going to be coming in now for mana. We're going to see the warp gate being researched right now, and then we're going to see the third hatchery coming in for Sarah. He's also going to get his Zergling speed upgrade going. We are also going to see out of mana, of course, the Phoenix is going to be coming out, most likely to start doing some damage to the Overlord and get an Overlord for for, for its troubles. But uh, Cyril will sacrifice that Overlord to get the necessary information that he needs to try to get a little bit of an edge over his opponent. Metabolic Boost, which is the Zergling Speed Upgrade, is going to be finishing up in a couple of seconds here. And right now it seems like both players are really just trying to drone up or probe up as far as uh, getting their economies booming at least at uh, the early stages of this game but very interestingly enough we are going to see um, of course the follow ups going to out of this Stargate is going to be uh, none other than the Oracle but another Stargate's coming in so a little bit of a change from uh, the first couple of games for mana he's going to get a couple of Stargates going. I wonder if he's going to try to get, like, Phoenix play. Possibly some just Oracle play would be very interesting. But that said, this uh, Phoenix is going to try to start wreaking a little bit of some havoc as far as doing some damage to uh, some of those f floating around overlords around the map. But that all being said, it does look like that Phoenix is shooed away, at least at this point. We are going to see the Oracle is going to come in and just kind of get some scouting information. We are going to see the Lair is going to be morphed in, at least at this point. So, Cyril, he, uh, you know, the both players kind of giving each other a little bit of some respect early on, uh, you know, at these early stages of the game. <clears throat> we are going to see, though, the Hydralis Den coming in for Cyril. 
So immediately after the lair came in, we're going to see that Hydralis den. My question is, is are we going to see a timing push out of Serral? That'd be very interesting to see a timing push, as now we have that third Nexus going down for mana. When Serral finds out about this, I wonder if he's going to consider going for a push. We're going to see three Phoenixes now out on the playing field. Serral does see all three of these Phoenixes. They are coming, actually four of them, to be exact, two more on that production tab. So very interesting. We are going to see, like I said, a change of pace here. And we are going to now see these uh, Phoenixes are going to try to do a little bit of some damage. I like it a lot. They are going to come in and go ahead and try to get a couple, uh, get a queen as well as an overlord. They're going to start moving around the map, try to get some, uh, some really good scouting information. They're going to come in and go after uh, another queen, get another queen for their troubles. And then it looks like they are going to try uh, to get some kills on some of these other units. That includes a Hydralisk as well as some more Overlord. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this because these Phoenixes, that Phoenix count is starting to really build. Doing a little bit of some damage, picking up some of, uh, you know, some uh, drones. This is what you want to, to do. Now the question is a little bit, oh, do you want to do the overextension here? They are going to pick up a few of those uh, Hydras. Getting a lot of kills, and I, I actually like that a lot. Beautiful play here so far. It does look like they are going to pick up some of those, uh, some more queens. Transfuses are coming in. More transfuses coming in, forcing those transfuses. But beautiful play, nonetheless, by really, I mean, both players. Now, this the follow-up here is going to be uh, two. We're going to see a couple of forges coming in, so we're going to try to see those plus one, plus one upgrades out of mana. Then the follow-up is also going to be a Twilight Council. He followed that up also with some more gateways. And then we're also going to see uh, another, which is going to be the fourth base coming in for uh, for mana. Lots of kills coming in, though. These these uh, these Phoenixes are doing a lot of, you know, a little, I mean, I guess you can't say a ton of damage, but they're doing a good amount of damage. They are definitely, they're definitely giving some value to mana, nonetheless. So here we go. More of the, you know, more phoenixes keep on being added. We are going to see charge being researched right now as well, well as plus one, another um, two. We are also going to see uh, two of these robotics facilities are going to be researched right now, or I should say, uh, constructed. And these oh, going to lose a couple of those phoenixes. You just don't want to lose those phoenixes for practically free. But all of that said and done. What is Cyril done? So he's got his fourth base going to be coming out here shortly. We're also going to see, of course, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, upgrades coming in for the the Hydras at least, and then we're also going to see this followed up with an evolution chamber, and then of course digging claws is going to be researched as well. So Groove Spines is going to be finishing up as well, out of that Hydralis den. And then we have Charge, of course, is going to be finishing up in less than 10 seconds now. And it does look like uh, these Phoenixes are just trying to wreak as much havoc as they can. This has got to be so annoying for Serral to have to deal with. You just got to be careful about the overextension. So many of these units are almost dead, as in these, uh, of course, these Phoenixes. Getting kill after kill, though, just trying to kind of hold, hold Serral back somewhat is really what you need to do. Is just kind of buy yourself some time, create a big, uh, a, a nice sized army. And now we've got that fourth base coming in for mana. So when I'm looking at this, mana is, is going to be, you know, have a nice advantage over his opponent if Cyril decides to uh, not attack. And I wonder if that is kind of in the playbook, so to speak, of Cyril at this point. Does he want to start moving across the map and kind of enough is enough so to speak but that said the, these of course these uh, phoenixes have got to be really annoying to kind of deal with but all in all Cyril doesn't seem to be terribly phased by it he's going to go ahead and get his fifth base started and I wonder if mana should just start moving across the map because now we're going to start seeing the hive being morphed in we're also going to see the Spire being constructed as well. And it looks like Serral is starting to move across the map. It's got a lot of Zerglings that are going to start moving across the map. Got to be very careful. But I really think that mana should start moving out. I would not, you know, I would try to not allow this fifth base to go down. 
Missile Attacks Level 1 is going to be finishing up in about 10 seconds for Sarah Swift. Keep an eye on that. Here we go. We got a couple of units that are going to be uh, trapped by Sarah. Beautiful force fields here by Mana. Absolutely beautiful play. He is going to see now that the 5th base is going to be going up, and there we go. The cancel does come in. Grand Armor Level 1 is finishing up in less than 5 seconds for Mana. And this is exactly uh, what Mana wants. He wants to kind of pin Serol into a corner and just do um, as uh, as much damage as he possibly can and buy himself some time so he can really create a nice-sized army. Now, here we go. The Greater Spire is going to be started. And so this is going to get interesting very quickly because we're talking, on the opposite side of the map, a very heavy ground-based unit composition that can't necessarily shoot air, okay? Unless you want to talk about the sentries and, of course, these immortals or uh, high templars. And now you got the archons coming in. But I'm just saying that not a very, you know, if we got a broodlord switch, which I would say we're about to have a broodlord switch here, and this might be a very interesting decision by Serral. When these broodlords finish up, this could get scary for our Protoss player if he does not find out about this soon. Here we go. The Phoenix is going to try to do a little bit of some damage, get a couple of those, um, couple of those Hydralis for their troubles. Now, we do have the Phoenixes out. And of course, he can continue making a lot of Phoenixes, but the Corruptors can do a lot of damage as well. Blink is being researched right now for the Stalkers. We're seeing seven... Um, uh, we're going to see seven Broodlords coming in very shortly. And these... Both these players are going to have to clash at some point or another. Nice, uh, beautiful storm there by Mana. But I really think that what Mana should do at this point is start moving out. Now look, you, you got you to gotta love the, the play by Serral. He's playing on having a Zergling run by once again, probably at this fifth base location. Or I should say fourth base location. But that said... Here we go. It looks like Mana is going to start moving out. And uh, once he finds out about these Broodlords, that's where it's going to get very interesting. Now, it does look like he is going to go right after Target Fire down this base. Gets that base right here and right now. And the Broodlords are coming. They are coming. And right now, it does look like Mana sees it. He sees that they are out. And he's going to start moving out right now. And I wonder if he's going to utilize Mass Recall at some point. Adrenal Glands finishing up. Pathogen Glands is finishing up in less than five seconds. For, of course, the Infestors. But this is where it's going to get very interesting. This creep spread is getting out of hand. It's almost at the four, at the third base location of uh, of Mana. And that's this is where it's going to get very interesting. you got to not allow this creep spread to get out of hand like this. And these Banelings are going to be moving in. Beautiful uh, play here so far. Gets all of those Banelings just like that, before they're able to do any kind of significant amounts of damage. So now the question is, what, is, what does Mana decide to do uh, at this point? Well, it looks like he's going to start moving in with those uh, with these Stalkers. They're going to try to catch some of those Broodlords a little bit off guard. Beautiful storm so far on all these units as well. And here we go. It does look like Blink comes in once again. They're going to go ahead and try to get as many of these units as possible. And really just trying to pin... Pin Serral in a corner once again. The question is, is he overextending just a little bit? Trying to get as many of those Broodlords as possible. Target firing down a lot of those Broodlords. Here we go. A lot of these Immortals are doing a lot of damage to all these uh, ground-based units. Nero Parasite is going to be started as well out for Serral. He's trying to do what he can as, a, as we're going to get once again another warp in of a lot of Zealots. And they're going to start moving in. They're going to, once again, the Blink is coming in. Going to try to do as much damage to more of those Broodlords. Not enough damage being dealt, though, in my opinion. It does look like, once again, he does take out that base, which is the fifth base location. And the Storms are really creating a lot of value as well. And here we go. More Stalkers are moving in. And, oh, my God. Mana wants to end this game right here and right now. It looks like he's going to start moving in. Target firing more of those Broodlords. Here come... Of course, all these Stalkers and Mortals try to do as much damage as possible. And now, the Infestors are getting absolutely decimated. And now, of course, with the Neuroparasite coming in, GG is called before anything 
Sirius is being dealt and Mana takes game number three in beautiful fashion against the best player currently on the planet. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Cyril and Mana. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you stay positive. And as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace.